Everybody ready? Let's give them a round of applause. Come on. This is gonna be fun. All right, so this is a really heartfelt letter that uh, Jay wrote. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, there we go. And you're going to insert your name. No, Pam. Pam, you have to say your name. You didn't know my name. Well, look, you know, just a little Hollywood blend. Okay, dear Pam. Okay, very good. This was probably very awkward reading a note for me in front of so many strangers on a stage. But I don't think anyone from Gahanna, Ohio, is in attendance today, so don't worry about being embarrassed. You're doing great, Pam. <laughs> There's only like 50 more slides. <laughs> me, or as you know me, Jay, wrote this letter to you last night at Jim's request. <laughs> First off, Pam, have I told you how beautiful you are lately? That's very nice, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> if I forget to do so, I'm sorry. I mean to do it every day, I really do. <laughs> Sometimes, however, I lose sight of how amazingly lucky I am that a wonderful and truly beautiful person like yourself has actually chosen to be with, with the troll. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you know, okay, I, I didn't have to build that. I appreciate the authenticity. Here you go, next slide, please. In case you didn't know, I may not show it every day, but when I do think about it, I'm in complete awe that you chose me and have stuck with me for so many of your prime years when you could have done so much better than me. <laughs> 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 I wake up every day wondering when you are going to leave me for the hot young dad neighbor down the street named Scott with the six cat ass. <laughs> Our neighbor is named Scott. <laughs> looking at Scott doing his shirtless yard work and I say to myself, Self, do you think if I buried Scott into that pile of mulch in his yard that they would find him eventually? I wonder specifically if it'd be easier to sneak up behind Scott with a chainsaw or probably just try to be heading with the hedge creepers. Hey, this is giving a lot of weight. <laughs> It's a debate I keep having for sure, of which I cannot decide what to do. But hey, don't freak out, honey. I'm not really going to murder Scott. I mean, by all means, keep looking if you want. But if one day Scott disappears and I come home covered in mulch and I'm all sweaty, I just want you to know that because you're my wife and we're legally married, you cannot testify me against me in court. So even if I did murder Scott, you would probably not be the key witness in putting me in prison for the rest of my life. So again, keep staring at Scott, it's cool. Our children can visit me in prison, it's fine. <laughs> Let's get back to you, darling. That's you, Pam. That's me. <laughs> Pam, I'm serious about many things in my life. The first is making sure you know you're loved and taken care of. The second is that our children are loved and taken care of. But thirdly, yeah, it's mostly about how to <laughs> Allow me to be serious now. Here's what goes through my mind in no random order when it comes to you and our family. I may not show it as often as I should, but I need you to know that the love I have for you is very real. At an almost caveman type level of what some might call mate for life. My loyalty to you goes beyond the surface day-to-day -day stuff. In fact, you would never realize this because I don't know how to express it, but I spend my life trying to make you happy. That's it. That's my goal in life, to give you the life you want, to make you smile. That's my only job. You are my everything. I'm here with you tonight because I want to be here. I want to spend time with you. I look forward to this. I was excited about this time with you. You are the most beautiful person in the world to me. That's the honest truth. So that's my letter, Pam. I love you. 
P.S. If he marries Scott after I die, he will never replace me as our children's natural father. <laughs> Just say. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs>